Welcome back to Real Stories. And if you're enjoying the ads, don't worry, we have more later. How far do you go when punishing your child? Tonight we meet Glenn Linford, a young man that's been at home grounded for the past 15 years and counting. And it all started with a dick and balls. Well, when I was 12, I thought it'd be funny to, to draw a dick and balls in the wet concrete. And Dad absolutely cracked it. He went schizo and grounded me straight away. And I remember saying to him, oh, when am I grounded till? He's like, till I say so, young man. But um, the unlucky thing was that later that day he, uh, he went into a coma. And um, I've, I've been grounded ever since. Well, um, <clears throat> Glenn's father, Colin, has been in a coma for 15 years. He was... Um at a local shopping centre and the car must have stalled or something and one of the boom gates. Well, he was lucky he wasn't killed really. And as for Glenn, well, Colin specifically stated that he was grounded until he said otherwise and he hasn't said otherwise. So trapped in a house for 15 years, how has Glenn spent his time? One, two, four. Here's some memories. We've got me and mum at my 15th birthday, we had sponge cake and the, the wax went all over the cake and we laughed for like a week or six days or something. Well, it hasn't been easy, no, it hasn't. Um, on bin night I get Glenn to take out the rubbish, but he can only take it to the front gate, of course, and then I take it from the front gate to the nature strip. One thing I've been doing is, um, is measuring me and mum at different intervals to see how much we've grown. This is mum at 1990 and... 05, she shrunk a bit, and this is me over here. I've had a bit more time, so I've done a few more. And of course it was difficult when Glenn was uh, old enough to learn how to drive, because he could only drive to the front gate and reverse back, and then back to the gate and then back again. But he was great at reversing. Well, yeah, it's hard to meet girls, given my circumstances, but it doesn't matter, because I've got Fleur, and I think it's... Uh, It'd be safe to say that she's waiting for me. Haven't seen her since since grade six, but I uh, I did some photos on the computer of what she might look like now. So um, this is her, um, and here's another one. So I think I mean obviously this is summer shots. She she be wear a jumper in winter, and here's um here's just just me at my at my twenty sixth. Mum mum couldn't make it. Good night by myself, though. <laughs> Wasted. Oh, I don't think he's really missed out on all that much over the years. Have you, darling? Nah. Well, um, I'm a year 12 formal, I guess, would be one. Oh, Glenn, or... what are you talking about, Glenny? We had a formal here and it was lovely. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Tell them who you took. Uh, I went with Kylie Minogue. <laughs> Obviously, I have, uh, haven't been able to see Dad since he went into hospital being grounded and all. But um, that's all right now because 18 months ago we set up this, this webcam and now I can just chat to him all day. G'day, Dad. How's it going? Dad. Dad. Hey, hey, Dad. Dad. Glenn hasn't seen any of his friends Dad. for 15 years, so Real Stories organised a visit from Tim Kavanagh, his childhood buddy. Hey, Timmy! How are you, mate? Uh, hang on, mate. Hang oh on a sec. God, what are you up to? What are you up to, Car. mate? Timmy! What are you up to? You're out of earshot. <laughs> hang on. It's a bit early. It's great. How are you? What's you? Yeah, yeah good. not much. Good. No, no. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, just sorry, you can't come on the property because of, of the grounding and all. Okay, mate. How are you? No, no, seriously. Seriously. Because of the dick and balls? Remember? Just, uh... Right. I, I didn't realise he was Ooh. literally still grounded from 15 years ago. I don't know what to talk about, to be honest. Found him. All right. Slap band. <laughs> yeah. God, I haven't seen those for 15 years. Yeah. Hey. It's been good? Ah, oh, the best. The best Hey, ever. do you want to ask Mum when you can stay the night? No way. <laughs> 
No, because um, I've got a wife and I've got a two-year-old. Oh, and balls and chains. <laughs> yeah. Balls of me. I got the life. Big time. <laughs> Oh, Big time. Yeah. You can't talk about work or the shops or, you know. What did you do on holidays? Oh, you went to your shed, did you? Cool. That's not weird oh, at all. Yeah. Oh. Uh. 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 Well, that's it for me. Take it easy. Yep. Uh. Okay. There you go. Just hop off. Thanks, mate. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Good luck with your dad. Getting out, um, and uh, I'll probably I'll see you at um, n nothing. So take it easy. So what will Glenn do if his father never recovers from the coma? Oh, Dad will be fine. Dad will wake up. He'll he'll come home. Mm, yeah. But if he does pass on, heaven forbid, we'll have the funeral here at home. So you will get to see him again. Wouldn't that be great, Glennie? Yeah, yeah. Hey, something to look forward to, isn't it? And and then I wouldn't be grounded anymore. Well, you would, because he wouldn't have said otherwise. Oh, yeah. And Glenn, if you're watching this, earlier today we received news that your father has miraculously woken from the coma. An hour later, however, we received further news that the initial news was incorrect. They don't think he'll ever wake up. After the break, smashed cops on the Gold Coast.